Hey guys, welcome back to NC Airsoft. So today we're going to be doing a review on the Matrix slash S&T Sportline M4. Now I've owned this gun six, for six months about, so I've done a few external, I've added some external parts to it here. I've done a black tip. For Crytek, I put it on there. A front flip up sight, or back, I don't know exactly that. I've also done a rail for the other side of it. Sorry if you're hearing a lot of ground noise. I'm, I'll try to edit that out, but if that's, I hope that's not getting annoying to you. But anyway, back to the video. Uh, bought it, like I said, bought it about six months ago. A very decent gun. Um, I've also done a shade of gray on it. So yeah, definitely recommend you getting this gun's very good with performance wise it's just an all in all decent gun so yeah uh, I'm gonna go shoot it on shoot it do a shooting test on it and I'll be back in a few alright guys here's our gun here we're gonna be testing um, 50 feet at first I mean we're gonna start out with 50 feet so just take note that we are using a 11.1 .1 lipo battery, so if you get a your regular 9.6 volt, it's gonna have some, some maybe lower performance or something like that. So just wanted to set it to y'all. So let's get ready. All right, Matrix Sport line at 50 feet. So let's go. Okay, so one miss, but there is something wrong with the iron sights right now. I'm trying to figure out, so that's probably why. So let's go ahead to 100 feet now. All right, 100 feet with the Matrix Sport line, so let's do it. Alright, so that's pretty decent for a hundred feet. Hold on, it's fogging up. It is a hundred feet. Um, I didn't mention this. I'm using point twos, so if it's not super consistent, that's probably why. You need to be using like 0.28s for this because this gun can hit way better with those. So definitely recommend that. I just didn't have any right now, so uh, I'm using 0.2s, like I said. So that's why I might be a little bit cutting short or something like that. So just want to say that. So let's try full auto at. 100 feet. If I can get you back there, that'd be nice. Alright. Full auto, 100 feet. Let's see. Alright, almost all of those were hitting the buckets, so that's, that's really good. So, let's go ahead and go out to 150 feet. Alright, so this is more like 120 feet because I ran out of space to 
Here's 120 feet with 0.2s. All right, pretty consistent at 120 feet. Uh, like I said, it's, you know, I ran out of space, so. There you have it. Oh. Pretty consistent at all. It'd probably go to about 200, maybe if you even put a, a optic on it, so definitely recommend this gun is very good consistent gun two weights it's even better in two weights using two eight sorry so yeah hey guys now that you've got kind of a view on how the matrix m4 sports line shoots we'll be getting into uh, basically what kind of BBs and batteries I use now to start us off, I use 0.28s. You can use 0.28s or 0.25s. I don't use 0.2s because they're way too light. Just, they go like, they go rob them, they go like, they're just way too light for this. So, definitely recommend 0.25s or 0.28s. It's heavier BB, will go farther than 0.2s and actually a little bit trouble I've had is people not they just go and they don't they like hit them so much I hit them and they don't feel it so it's kind of annoying so I definitely recommend 0.28s for that now what kind of battery I use I use a 11.1 lipo battery uh, it's sorry if I haven't told y'all but it's it is wired so you can use LiPo batteries, so definitely recommend uh, you using a LiPo over a 9.6 volt. Because 9.6 volt, it gives a little bit of a worse sound, like that electric gun sound. And it also, um, you know, everything a little bit.